Hey everyone, welcome back, Round Geek here. So this video is especially for the Windows 11 user who really don't like the new context menu or want to customize and have the best context menu. Now most of the pro users know how important context menu are for the faster productivity. So today I will be sharing a free tool designed for the Windows to create the high performance context menu item and with this tool you can add your favorite application, your game, your browser in the context menu only. Even you get many kind of shortcut in the context menu only from where you can access many kind of windows feature by just making a right click. And not only this, you can customize your context menu to give it a new theme and new look so that you can make it more attractive. Okay, so now let's see how exactly you have to download and use it. So bring up any of your favorite browser. And you have to search for Nilesoft. You might have heard about this program before. And you will be coming to this kind of website, Nilesoft. You will have to click on the first link. Once you come to the website, you scroll down a bit. And in the shell, you have to click on download. And once you click on the download, now it will give you many options to download their installer. Like, you can either click on the download option to download the exe setup exe file. In case if this option doesn't work, you can also use the command in order to install it. All right, so you can use any of the method. If you want to go with a command one, you can just copy it. Bring up the PowerShell or the command prompt, whatever you want to use. Right click on it. Click run as administrator. Click on yes. Now you can right click here to paste this command, the winget command. And once you hit the enter key, the software will start downloading and installing on your device. So either you can go with this method or you can simply download their setup file and run it. I will go with this method as of now. So I will hit the enter key. And you will see that downloading has been started. It will ask you, do you want to agree? So press the Y key here and again hit the enter key. And the installation of this software will be started. All right, once it will be done, it says successfully installed. Now if I close this window, and this time if I make a right click on my desktop. So bingo. Now you can see I have the new context menu here with lots of advanced options. Even if you right click on any of the application, you will be getting the new context menu and you will not be getting that annoying Windows 11 context menu where you have to keep clicking on show more option all the time. All right, so now let's see what all option you get here. When you make a right click on the desktop, the first change is the terminal and if you hover upon it from here only you can bring up the command prompt powershell windows terminal or open in terminal then you get the file manage option you can copy the path you can bring up a new folder or you can bring up a new file that can be a, a text document notepad xml a excel file json or html then you have a very useful feature by the name go to and from here only you can bring the folder from any of the location. So let's see if you want to bring up the download, you can bring it up, you can bring up the pictures, you can bring up the program file, you can open up the Windows folder, system folder. Then you have the control panel. And if you click on it, it will bring up the control panel for you quickly. Okay, so no need to navigate uh, by going to search and typing control, then bring it up. Just make a right click, pour up to go to and click control panel and it will be up. Next, you get the God mode option that is basically by the name all control panel item. And if you click on it, it's a very useful feature that display all the control panel item here that you can access from one page only. You don't have to uh, search for anything. So very useful that you can enjoy from here only. Next, you get the run option. Then you have the settings so from here only. You can bring up the system setting about section system information. You can do a search, you can bring up the Windows update, you can bring up the Windows Defender, even you can bring up the applications, you can personalize it, you can bring up the network status. For example, if I want to view the system information, I can click on it and very quickly you will find that it will bring up the command prompt, it will automatically run the command and it will show me all the detail about my computer and so on there are many other options that you can check here 
and even you can change the desktop background by clicking on next desktop background all right so by default you will be getting all these options now if you want to make more changes here like if you want to customize it if you want to add some more item here you want to change the theme now let's see how exactly you have to do that all right so in order to edit the shell what you will have to do from your keyboard you will have to press and hold the left shift key and then right click on the task bar and you will be getting this kind of window now here hover upon shell then you will find different option here you will have to click on directory click on it all right so now here you will find different kind of files now the one that you have to look for will be shell.nss and in order to edit it you can use different kind of editor like the notepad plus plus or any other kind of editor but i will be using the notepad only that is the default program so what you can do you can right click on it and click on edit in notepad okay and you will be getting this kind of page here now here you can make a lot of changes and you can see here you can remove the terminal you can remove the go to option so when you make a right click on the desktop you find the go to option and if you want to remove it you can just simply delete this line and this option will be deleted now for example let's see how exactly you have to make the changes now for this i would also recommend you you can visit their official website and then go to the doc section from the top menu option then from the left hand side click on configuration and here you will be getting the detailed information that how you can make the changes what all changes that you can apply all the path will be given here now for example if you want to add the command prompt directly then you can copy this path here right click on it choose copy come back and paste here below the import now after pasting it if i click on file and click on save now in order to make the changes i will refresh the refresh button by using the control key so i will press the control key and then make a right click on the desktop and bingo so now you can see the command prompt has been added here all right now if i go ahead and delete it click on file click on save and again if i press the control key and right click on the desktop bingo so you can see the command prompt has been disappeared all right now let's make some more changes here so i will be sharing a small code in the description and it's a very useful code you need to copy from the description make a right click here below the import line and click on paste you can also use a shortcut key that is control plus v and once you add it you will find this kind of line has been added and below the line you will find bracket open and bracket closed now this is a very useful tool and with this command only you can add any kind of application on your context menu now for example if you want to add any kind of browser like microsoft edge so just right click on the browser or application which you want to add in the context menu click on properties in the properties in the target section you will be getting the path of that particular application copy the path without the comma here semicolon right click and choose copy now in the title you have to give the name of that particular application so i can type here edge because i'm adding the edge browser in the image you have to paste the path here and again in the cmd you have to add the path all right you are done now if i click on file and click on save and now if i make a right click on the desktop by using the control key so boom you can see the edge has been added in the desktop here along with the icon and if i click on it it is coming up without any kind of problem all right so now you can quickly access the edge browser from your context menu only okay so similarly if you want to add any other kind of application or even any kind of game then what you have to do bring up a new line before that bracket open and this will be the code now here in the title you will have to add the name of that particular application that you want to add or the name of the app game that you want to add in the image 
you will have to paste the path like I copied the path by making a right click on the application, went to properties and copied the path here without the colon. Similarly, you have to copy the path and paste here. In the CMD also, you will have to paste the same path so that it can open that application without any kind of problem. All right, so very simple to do. Once you paste everything, once you do everything, you will have to click on file, then you will have to click on save and everything will be working absolutely fine. All right, now I cannot go in the detail guys because it will take a long time to show you. So now let's see that how basically you have to customize it, how you have to make a more changes in the look wise. Now I can go ahead and close it. And this time if I make a right click on the desktop, so you can see I'm getting this kind of context menu. The Edge browser has been added here. Now, if I want to change the theme, if I want to change the look and feel, then what you will have to do again, press and hold the left shift key from your keyboard, right click on the taskbar, and then you have to hover up to shell and click on directory. This time you have to bring up the import folder here. And in the import, you will find all kind of a file that you can edit or you can manage. Like you can modify it, you can go with the taskbar changes, but I won't recommend you to do that until you are very sure about it. Now let's see, we have to make changes with the theme. So we will bring up the theme folder here. So just make a right click on it, click on edit in notepad and this kind of page will be up. Now here in the theme section, you find the dark option and by default it's sys.dark and you can see that I'm getting the light theme here. And that can be probably a glitch because my theme has been selected to dark in Windows. But no problem, what you can do? Where it says dark, delete this sys.dark and replace it with true. T-R-U-E. Click on file. Click on save. Now if I right click on the desktop by using the control key from my keyboard. So bingo. Now you can see the theme has been changed here to the dark mode. Now let's make some more changes in the context menu here. So you can change the color. If you want to make any changes in the color of the context menu, you can do that. For that, you have to copy the color code from the website. Any color code website you can use. Then you have the opacity. Now if you want to increase or reduce the opacity, then you can do that as well. So let's try to reduce the opacity here from 90 uh, to 20. And if I click on file, click on save. And this time if I control and right click on the desktop. So yes, the opacity has been decreased here a bit, not too much. Yes, it has been decreased. You can also try to change the effect. And basically you will be getting three kind of effect, I guess, one, two and three. Now let's change it to one. Click on file, click on save. And if I right click again. So bingo. Now you can see I'm getting the transparent context menu here. So let's make the opacity to zero and let's see what happened. I will click on file, click on save. And this time if I right click, uh, sorry, control and right click. So boom. Now you can see that the context menu has been transparent here, fully transparent. And it looks amazing. Very cool here. Then you have the effect two. So let's make it two and see what happened. Click on save. All right, so now we have the blur effect, I guess. That also looks good. And if I go with the three one, I think that will make it normal. Again, if I click on save, control and right click. So that is again back to normal. Not transparent, not blurred. That is a basic one. All right, so this way you can enjoy it. You can make it either blur or fully transparent, whatever you want to. And now you can compare your context menu with this context menu that how useful this is with advanced options with your useful application and games and designed so well that it looks very cool and very good to use it. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video found this information useful. If yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.